Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh brings fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can make yourself a meal in about 30 minutes. And if you need to shave off even more time, HelloFresh has quick and easy recipes and 15 minute meals. So a new season means HelloFresh has a fresh fall lineup, including 40 weekly recipes to choose from that will fit your lifestyle, including veggie, fit and wholesome, and family friendly. And HelloFresh is more than just dinner. You can stock up your fridge with easy breakfast, quick lunches, and fresh snacks. So HelloFresh is not only a great way to save time, but it's a great way to relieve stress. Meal planning can be super stressful. And this week, my family's favorite recipe was the sweet potato and pepper quesadillas. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, please click the link down below or go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50MMADE to receive 50% off plus free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. All right, my lovelies, today we're going to be making something that's super easy, super fun looking, and perfect for the last little hurrah of summer. We are going to be making burger dogs. I saw this on TikTok and I thought, this looks very familiar. Paused for a moment and said, yes, indeed. I remember Jacques Pepin showing a very similar, if not identical, recipe for this before. And sure enough, I went on the YouTubes and I found a video, I'll put a link to it down below, where Jacques shows how to make something that he calls a curly dog. He worked for Howard Johnson for a number of years and they came up with this recipe as a fun way to offer something to the kids. Although it was never offered on the menu, I'm sure he's made it for youngsters before because it looks so stinking great. And all it is is grilling up a hot dog, which most kids that I know enjoy very much. I am not a child, but I love me a good hot dog. So let's go ahead and prepare the curly dog or the hot dog burger. I got these narrow bun length dogs because I felt like they would make a nice ring. But then I found these. These are impressive, I have to say. <laughs> Look at these. These are jumbo beef uncured franks. They are absolutely enormous. And this looks more like the hot dog that Jacques demonstrates with in his videos. So we're gonna prepare two different versions and give them a taste. This essentially is a cutting technique. So let's first demonstrate the one that I saw in the TikTok video. All we're going to do is make little slices all the way across. They're gonna be spaced about half inch apart, but we don't want to go all the way through. We must keep it connected. And we can do that by just slicing carefully and not going all the way down with a sharp knife. We can also use a pair of disposable chopsticks. It'll prevent us from going all the way down. I think that would work nicely. We need it to stay connected so that it forms a ring. Yes, I definitely recommend the chopstick technique because then you'll get even slices and you'll keep the integrity of the hot dog. It's not captivating. And eventually it'll do this. We have like a hot dog wreath, right? I cannot get over how huge these are. Twice the size? Yeah. So this technique is a little bit different. I'm gonna cut it down the length. Again, not all the way through. And then again, we're gonna use our little chopstick cleats and slice until you hit the chopsticks. And that way it'll prevent it from cutting all the way through. To my warming up pan, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil and we're just gonna fry our hot dog. And it will curl up on its own. And that's why Jacques called this the curly dog. The proteins will cook and contract and then the meat will curl. Sounds good. Place it in the pan. Whoa, here's our other dog, our large dog. Look, already, it's doing it. So make sure you cut far enough down on the hot dog, otherwise it won't want to bend as easily. Let's get the other side. Now the hot dogs are already cooked, so we don't have to worry about cooking them, we're just warming them up and getting them to curl up. Turn it over, oh gosh, that looks so good. So I turned it on its back here to make sure this part gets grilled. And we'll turn the side too. Doesn't that look great? 
the curly dog. So yes, heating this one up on all sides helps really give it a great curly look. Okay, that one's done too. All right, let's take transfer this to a plate. Alrighty, lovelies, we have two styles of our hot dogs. The simple sliced one for the smaller dog and the fancier slice with a slice down the middle for our larger dog. But isn't that great? All right, so for me, what begs to be asked is how do we eat this? These are hot dogs. Should it be eaten like a hot dog or should it be eaten like a burger since this is called a hot dog burger? Both, I say. Let's try them and see how they taste. Mayo, cheese, lettuce, tomato, beautiful, and then curly dog right on top. Boom. This is the hot dog burger. And then for this version, I'm gonna dress it like a hot dog. I know some purists say do not put ketchup on your hot dog. I happen to like ketchup on my hot dog. So that's what I'm gonna do. Put that right on top. Pretty cute. Boom. All right, my lovelies, let's go ahead and give the hot dog burgers a taste. Let's try this one first. This is the classic hot dog mustard ketchup combination with a bun, but in this really fun wreath-like shape. It's a Itadakimasu. Mm. Tastes great. Tastes like summer. Hot dog is delicious, garlicky, tangy with the mustard, sweet with the ketchup, slightly sweet from the bun. The ratio of bun to hot dog is pretty similar to a hot dog bun, although I imagine in the middle that might not be the case since there is no hot dog in the middle. But for that initial bite, very much like a hot dog in a bun experience, except there's a little bit of sesame seed in there as well. But very fun, novel, a great way to use up any extra hot dog buns. Or if you don't have enough hot dog buns for the hot dogs, just cut up your hot dogs so that they make a circle and you can use your hot burger buns. <laughs> the one I'm super excited to taste is this one. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? It's so kind of retro 1950s looking. Isn't that great? Doink with its funny little hat. I feel like this is something that SpongeBob would highly approve of. Oh, did I forget the mustard and ketchup? I think I did. Oopsie. I did put mayo down below. So in a lot of ways, this is just like the other one with vegetables and cheese, right? Look at that. Alrighty, it's the Oh. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm that one's great too. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are both delicious in terms of flavor. Both are delicious. This one is slightly more hamburger-ish because you get the crunch of the lettuce. You get a little bit of that soft, salty American cheese and tomato. I think this would be perfect with a slice of onion. Of the two hot dogs, I prefer the larger size. <laughs> I feel like with the hamburger bun, the amount of bun that you have, I think is more proportionate when you have the larger size hot dog. It's really fun to eat. It's fun to make. It's super fast and quick and easy. I just thought of an especially redeeming quality of this recipe is that when you go to the store and you want to serve both hot dogs and hamburgers at your cookout, you can just buy one type of bun and not worry that you won't have enough because you can make the hot dogs fit into the hamburger buns, right? the more you know. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I learned so many wonderful things from you. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.